Welcome, I'm Becky Blackburn, Public Services Librarian with the Westfield Athenaeum, back here with some more cookbook book club reviews. This one's a throwback to our first year of this um, cookbook book club that we started, and I know it's really hard to say. This is the third cookbook, I believe, that we did, and this was Ruth Reichel, My Kitchen Year. And with this, I'm going to introduce to you Libby. This is our ebook app that we have through the Westfield Athenaeum. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of titles that you can get on your phone. So I'm just going to show you. You just scroll through it. And this cookbook is a beautiful cookbook. It's set up seasonally. It's Ruth Reichel, who was the editor of Gourmet Magazine for many, many years. And she talks about she talks about Gourmet Magazine and her life. And it's just it's a beautifully written book. It's it's got more story to it. It's not just a strict recipe book. It's beautiful. It's a really it's a really nice read. And it's got beautiful photography and it's all divided up into the season. So it's it's really cool. So I just want to talk about some of the um, cookbooks or some of the recipes that we did in this cookbook. Um, now, if I were to be cooking here and I wanted to find a cook, now let's see if it'll work for me. There we go. So if I wanted to find a recipe in this app right now, let's say I, I said I wanted to find the um, cake that cures everything, I could do a search for that and just type it in here. So it takes me right to the recipe, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can just scroll through it. Now, the other, the thing that's really neat about how this cookbook is set up differently from other cookbooks is that it has a pantry list or staples, and then it has a shopping list. So it gives you right up top here, it gives you your shopping list. So this is, they're not expecting you to have a, one and a eighth cup of cocoa powder. But she's saying, you know, you're going to have milk and you're going to have vanilla and flour and baking soda, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of nice if you have a pretty well stocked pantry when you're flipping through and you want to see if you can make something, you can just check the shopping list and see if that's what you need to get. Um, so somebody did make this cake and it was amazing. And the thing, the, one of the reasons that it really cures everything is, is it is ginormous. It's like serves 20 to 25 people. So this cake that cures everything, and I think this is maybe one of the reasons. She says, in times of stress, only excess will do. This is an enormous cake, but it keeps very well, and there is no such thing as too much chocolate cake. And it was delicious. There was nothing like off the wall weird about it. It was just a really solid, really delicious chocolate cake that anyone would like. So I remember that cake very well, and it was, it was a whole sheet cake. It was beautiful. Some of the other desserts, I'll just start at, I'll just start at the best part of, of eating, right? Um, so the perfect pound cake, somebody made that, that was really, really good. Um, and she talks about ingredients, especially in the pound cake. She talks about how important it is to use good ingredients. So she really encourages a really good butter, like a plugra or a, maybe the Irish butter or something like that. Um, since when you have something like a pound cake, it's going to be mostly butter flavor. Um, somebody made the cranberry pecan crostata, which is really good because it had you know, the pecans, but it also had the cranberries, which had the, the sourness to it. It was so good. Um, the Linzer tort, somebody made the Linzer tort. Remember that? It was so beautiful. So beautiful. It was the stripes and the raspberry. Oh, it was so good. Um, and then again, Gretchen, our digital services library, made the gingered applesauce cake glazed with caramel, and it was amazing. I remember her saying it smelled so good in her, in her apartment. She had to keep slapping her boyfriend's hand so he wouldn't eat it. Um, and then the big New York cheesecake was something else that somebody made and they said it was really easy and delicious. One of the, um, one of the ones that sticks out in my head was the buttermilk potatoes with brown butter in which the potatoes were actually boiled in the buttermilk. And the buttermilk, it, it all got quite brown and um, they were like, mm, I don't know how this, this doesn't look great. And they did the whole thing and you just cook it all together and you, you blend it up and um, serve it. And it was amazing. So creamy, delicious, perfectly seasoned, really, really good. Again, somebody made the butternut squash soup because somebody always makes the butternut squash soup when it's in a cookbook. And then um, somebody made the diva of grilled cheese. And um, I remember it was, it was very good. It had like Gruyere on it 
and it was a sourdough loaf and uh, the person that made it said this was very expensive <laughs> so we agreed that well Ruth Reichel probably has you know money bread and cheese money that's a little more elevated than the rest of us so but it was it was very very good and she brought it in a like a hotel pan and it was still good even though it wasn't fresh off the grill so and then JR brought the spice rubbed pork in the banana leaves so um, JR is one of our children's librarians and um, he and his wife love cooking and they love making pork and so they brought this thing in and it was pretty fantastic so um, they made that and that was really really good um, and I think that's it for that one so um, Ruth Reichel's books are all worth reading. She's got several out there. They're mostly autobiographical. Um, and this one has that autobiographical aspect, but also some really great recipes for, for all the seasons. So I'd really recommend you pick it up. Um, we can order it for you for, through our um, online system. Um, or as you see, it's actually, you can just download it onto your phone, Kindle, computer, whatever you want. Um, so anyways, thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. Bye.